Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University and today I'm going to bring you a video on the extra ocular muscles. Alright, I'm actually going to use a couple different models including this fishing bobber with some tape coming off of it because we're going to really focus on the movements of the extra ocular muscles. Let's get started. First off, looking at the eye model here, let me move it over. We can see what we call the extra ocular muscles. Muscles attached directly to the eyeball. And there's six of them total. And then they're in the orbit of the eye and there's three different nerve innervations for these six different muscles. Let's just name them real quick. This one out here, innervated by the abducens nerve, is the lateral rectus. Then you've got the superior rectus, innervated by the ocular motor nerve. Way down in here, and let me go to the back. See, deep in there, there's the inferior rectus. On the side, there's a medial rectus. And then finally, the ocular motor one is the inferior oblique. Let me get this tape out of the way for you here so that you can see this muscle. The final one is called the superior oblique, innervated by the trochlear nerve. And if I take this tape off, you can see this muscle actually comes out, wraps around, and back the medial wall of the orbit of the eye. Check out my other video on just naming the extraocular muscles for more information on those. So those are the muscles and this would be a right eyeball. So if I'm looking at it here, essentially it would be right here, the right side. If I brought in a, a skull, right? This would be the right eyeball as the medial wall is here and the lateral wall is here. So imagine this is the right eyeball. All right, and lucky enough in here, we've got many models. So we got actually another model here. This one will be showing the left eyeball, a little bit different size here, but that's okay. As we can note some similar things, superior rectus, superior rectus. Now you can really see that inferior rectus as it comes back off the eyeball. That would be this one deep down in here. Then the lateral rectus, let me look to the side. It's on the lateral side right there. You got the lateral side right here. The medial rectus, really well seen here, squeezed in there. Let me give you a good shot of it there, squeezed in there for the medial rectus. The other ones are very clearly shown on here as the superior oblique coming through the side and if you look real close do you guys see that that piece of white connective tissue right in here that's called the trochlea so the superior oblique which is innervated by the trochlear nerve goes through something called the trochlea that's a great way to remember that muscle but that would be like this one but it would be coming off it would wrap around and down to the medial wall, just like bam, this. So here you can see, this is where the superior oblique would come out, wrap around, go through. This pink, pink piece of tape is representing the trochlea. That's connective tissue, but the superior oblique would run down here. That's what you can see deep inside here, but I think it's a better view when there's no medial wall. What's the last one? Well, it's that inferior oblique and it actually comes up and around this side. So it starts medially and then it comes up around lateral, sneaks underneath, coming across right there. All right, here it is from an anterior view and I'm really hitting these muscles and the fiber directions really hard because that's gonna come into play with the movements that they produce. So superior rectus, superior rectus, lateral rectus, lateral rectus, inferior rectus. Let's see if we can see it. 
There it is. It starts there and it goes straight back. Over here, it goes straight back. And then medial rectus is this one. Medial rectus here. Superior oblique. Superior oblique. And then inferior oblique. Inferior oblique if you look deep in there. All right, enough of naming it. Let's talk about the six different actions of the eyeball. And for the movements, I gotta bring in this pipe cleaner model right here. So what are you looking at? Well, essentially you're looking at the interior view of the right eye. So this would be the right eye over here. And the red one would be the superior oblique. The blue one would be the lateral rectus. And then all the black ones are the other muscles. And it's really divided by nerve innervation. So remember that lateral rectus has the abducens nerve. The superior oblique has the trochlear nerve. And then all the black ones are ocular motor. What's this yellow thing in the back? That's the optic nerve. So don't forget that there's an optic nerve back here. It is shown on both models but what are we doing well when i bring it in here i can actually move the eye so what i can say is the first direction we'll talk about is elevation elevation is pointing the eyeball upwards or the pupil here let me straighten this pupil out for you so if you look up at the ceiling this is what you're doing with the eyeball now when you depress the eyeball that's looking down like that. Elevation, depression. Additionally, the eyeball can adduct, or oftentimes with my students, I'll say adduct and really emphasize the D in the first part of that word because that's different than abduction. Abduction is this, the eyeball turning laterally. That's abduction. Similar sounding, but different words. Now the last two are maybe the toughest because they're rotations. You can intort the eyeball. See how I turned it inward with my top finger rotates inward, it's intorsion. But if this top finger rotates laterally, it's extorsion. That's what I'm doing right now is extorsion of the eyeball. I'll do those one more time. Intorsion and extorsion. Those are the six different movements of the eyeball. But something that's really important is the starting position of the eyeball because depending on where the eyeball starts will dictate its function for a lot of these muscles. So let me talk about the three main starting positions of the eyeball. All right, the first starting position, I call it maximal ad if you turn your eyeball all the way inward, all the way medially, at a certain point it will stop. Like I can't go any more medial with the pupil. This is maximal adduction. Now I can also go the other way with it. I can do maximal abduction. Let's say way out here, this is where it stops. I cannot turn the eyeball out any more laterally. This is maximal abduction. Now there's one called neutral and neutral is actually slightly adducted, not all the way, but slight adduction. And what this does is it actually points the eyeballs straight forward. What am I talking about? Well, if I bring in the skull, let me look at the skull here and these pipe cleaners, I love the pipe cleaners, orange and black go bangles here. And essentially, these are showing that the orbits of the eye point laterally. So if you were to put a probe through the orbit of the eye, or the pipe cleaner here, it's gonna point laterally. It's not straight forward. There's a little bit of a, an angle to it. Let me go there for you. So your eyes don't look like that. Your eyes look like, like this, like I'm looking right at the screen. Both eyes are looking in the same direction. So 
to make that work, both your eyes have to slightly adduct. Slightly adduct. Let me do this here. So now the pipe cleaners are pointing straight forward. And if I use the model back here, this is in the direction of the orbit of the eye, but slight adduction is right here, looking straight at the camera. That's what we call neutral. All right, time to get a little crazy with it here and bring in the, uh, the fishing bobber here, the fishing bobber. And what I'm gonna do is show you the different actions. I'm gonna start with the two easiest actions. And I want you to partner these muscles together because there's six of them, but if you make three groups of two, it's a lot easier to remember. And the groups you're gonna make are opposing muscles. For example, the blue one is the lateral rectus, and on the other side is the medial rectus. These are gonna do the opposite actions. Now, it doesn't matter what starting position you're in for these two muscles, because the lateral rectus, and let me hold it up to my own eye here, the right eye, watch this. When I pull on the lateral rectus, it's going to produce abduction, abduction like that. Let me do it again for you. Pull on it, it's going to do abduction. Sorry for the, the freaky fish bobber eye, but I think this really helps visualize this. So abduction like that. Additionally, let me grab the medial rectus, still the right eye. Here it is. And here's the medial rectus. Let me pull on this one. It does AD or adduction. Next up, it gets a little bit more complicated with the superior rectus and the inferior rectus, but I want you to partner these together. You guys see these two here, superior rectus, inferior rectus, and you can make this at home. You can find anything that's really a circle, a small ball, fishing bobber if you've got it. Uh, make one and let me know in the comments if you made it, if it worked, and if this helped you out as well. But let's do the superior rectus next. Now the starting position matters. So when I say, okay, you're starting in the maximally abducted position. So that'd be like this. When you start in this position and you pull on the superior rectus, it's going to elevate. See how when I pull on this black piece of tape, it elevates when it's in the maximally abducted position or it starts there, right? But what if I turn it and I start over here and now I'm maximally a or adducted, adducted, and what's going to happen? I'm going to pull on it, but wait a minute. Now the muscle is actually to the side. When you were maximally abducted, the muscle was straight on with the pupil, but now that you're like this, it's towards the side. So when I pull on it, it rotates into in torsion. That's the superior rectus from those two positions. How about neutral? Well, with neutral, I see you add those things together. So it's actually three actions for neutral. It's going to be, and, and neutral we know is right in between those, slightly adducted here. It's going to be a little bit of elevation, a little bit of in torsion, and a little bit of adduction. Those are the three actions produced by the superior rectus from starting from the neutral position. Okay, take a minute, pause the video, go back. If that didn't make sense, take some time to understand that example because we're about to do the last three muscles that are very similar. Next up, is the inferior rectus right here. It's the opposite of the superior rectus. So it's gonna do 
from the maximally abducted position, it will depress. See how, well, when I turn this out and I pull down on that piece of tape, it depresses the eyeball. That's because you are pulling. I'm not moving it with my fingers here. I'll hold my fingers tight so you can see the actual pull, pull into depression. Additionally, when I maximally adduct the eyeball, let's turn it all the way in here. Now when I pull on this piece of tape, it's going to extort. Extortion going on here. Watch this again. Extortion like that. And I'm realizing it's a really freaky eye when you're holding this up to your face, but hopefully you can see that movement going on. Last two, and the last two are the obliques. Partner the obliques together. They're doing business together. They're business partners because they do the opposite action. So what I like to do is come in and I'll take the superior oblique and the inferior oblique and I'll pinch them together. So one's on the top, one's on the bottom, but here's what's gonna happen. When you got the right eyeball here, and let's start same starting position again, maximally abducted, and you pull on this, it's going to uh, intort the eyeball. See that right there? Intorsion of the eyeball. Now let me turn it all the way in, maximally adducted. Now it's going to depress. Now it's going to depress the eyeball, starting from that maximal adduction. How about neutral? Combine those two. So you have, let's go right about neutral here. You got a little bit of intorsion. You got some depression going on and a little bit of ab Abduction. See how the eyeball wants to, to abduct a little bit when I pull on that? That's because there's a little bit of abduction with the superior oblique from the neutral position. Last one. Hang in there with me here. Last one. The inferior oblique. Holding it up. Going this way with it. Pulling on it. And when I pull on it, it's going to... Uh, do extortion, extortion here from starting from the fully abducted position. Then when I turn it in maximally adducted, let's start there and I pull on it. It's going to do elevation, add those together, neutral position. I got some elevation, I got some extortion and I've got some abduction as well. Hopefully this has helped you as you can see the actual actions of the eye. Check out my other videos, naming the muscles and the movements as well if you need more help. Whew. All right, that was a lot in one video with the eyes with the fish bobber and with the movement so take some time and let me know if you have any questions i'd love to answer anything for you i am a professor at ohio university here and i love helping students near and far so if you have any questions feel free to comment and let me know i'm going to put my email down in the bottom as well i would love an email from you uh, with a question, with a suggestion for a video, whatever it might be, it's my goal to make a bunch of free human anatomy videos in the lab that we've been blessed with here uh, at the Athens campus. But I'm Professor Klein, and that's my goal for you all, my commitment to provide that free human anatomy teaching. So like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and thanks for watching.